Hollywood Heritage is on location. We're standing in front of 1500 Vine Street at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Vine. You know it as the Chase Bank Building, but originally it was purpose-built by Howard Amundsen for his home savings and loan financial institution. He built 150 of these with architectural designer Millard Sheets in the mid-century. This one is our next historic cultural monument applicant. Stay tuned for information about how you can help to landmark this building, but now let's hear from someone who has a deep personal connection to the building and who is the author of the application. Hi, I'm Katie Amundsen. I am the preservation intern at Hollywood Heritage and a Master's of Heritage Conservation student at the USC School of Architecture. I wrote the Historic Cultural Monument nomination for this building um, nearly six years ago. My great-great-uncle Howard Amundsen started the Home Savings and Loans Bank Company. Um, and this building in particular was in 1968. My family has a long heritage with these banks and it means a lot to be standing in front of it today nominating it for a historic designation. When the banks were first designed my great great uncle Howard asked Millard Sheets to do whatever he wanted with the building and when Millard Sheets called and asked some questions about what he would prefer he hung up. Um, Millard Sheets ended up calling back and saying I think we might have lost contact and Howard said, no, no, there was no loss of contact. I hung up on you on purpose. I gave you free reins for a reason, take them. And that was the end of the conversation. This is a stained glass portrait by Susan Hurdle and it features different chase scenes from Hollywood movies throughout its history. We have the Keystone Cops as well as Moby Dick featured in this portrait. In the front, there's a fountain by Paul Manship of Europa writing Zeus. The fountain was designed by Millard Sheets uh, and incorporated this sculpture into the sign. Another significant feature of the building is the double height casement windows. Uh, they're framed in bronze and have bronze, bronze entablatures. Here we have the white granite and black granite mural. Um, this is some of the mosaic tiling of Bet Betty Davis here in costume. But here you can see we have the black granite and white granite as well as the travertine cladding that is framing the rest of the building. Uh, here's some more artwork by Millard Sheets. He was given full reign to design both the architecture and the art of the building. So you see a real combination of both art in the mosaics and the tiling or the murals uh, in the architecture of the building. This building was designed in a new formalist style which basically takes the elements of the classical style and strips them down so a lot of the decoration is within the post lentil structure of the columns and the entablature. Um, my great great uncle Howard wanted a building that was going to last into the future and remain significant no matter what era. Mm -hmm. 